Rory, Connor, how are you today? Good. Right. Uh, first things first, the beginnings of Queen of Ireland. I'd love to know how it is that you two guys met, how you come up with the idea, and what your reaction was when he, he you know, he pitched you, I'd love to make a film about your life. Uh, we met on Grinder, and we went in an unsuccessful <laughs> 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 It was long before <laughs> Grindr. <laughs> um, we'd been working together on a few, on, mostly on the Alternative Miss Ireland posters every year. He would take the pictures, I'd be in them, mm -hmm. so he'd photograph me lots of times over 20 years, so I knew Connor for a long time, and then he asked me about making a documentary, and I thought, well, Here I know go. him, I trust him, okay. So, Connor, you were filming this from 2010-ish, yeah. yeah. um, and prior to, you know, uh, the Noble Call and the, the referendum, uh, what was the, did you have any idea of where the film might be going from, from the start? We, ha we had a, a loose idea. We always knew that we would have Panty as a great and highly entertaining character, but also Rory, who's very engaged politically. So we knew that whatever kind of political things that would happen, whatever parts of the fight for equality that would happen down the road, that Rory would be kind of in the centre of that, and that that's something that we wanted to capture. And when it came to the, the noble call, like you, you, you made the speech at the, at the front of um, the Risen People. Mm -hmm. Was there a particular reason why you chose that night or that play or that theatre to, to, to give that speech? No. Um, it was the final night of that play that had been on for a few months, and the Abbey asked me to do it that night. Um, and they had asked somebody to do a noble call at the end of every single performance, so there'd been a few hundred before me. All right. Um, and so, no, they asked me to do it that night, and I almost said no, because I was in the middle of the whole Pantygate fiasco at the time, and so I just had a lot on my plate. Um, but Thea from the Abbey has been very good to me, and so it's hard to say no to them or whatever, and, and I literally live across the road from the Abbey. So, um, so I thought, okay, well, I'll do it. But I had no expectations of it. I had no you know, anticipation of I, I just thought I was going to say a few words and get out of there. You know, I, yeah, yeah. I had no, thought nothing of it. And then Connor decided to come along and film it. Um, and everything that happened after that came as a big surprise to me as anybody else. In, during the Queen of Ireland, the, the, you see these massive moments where you, you see they are also uh, like, almost like cultural moments in, in what will be Irish history. But was there any, you know, I, we, we've seen a lot of behind the stuff, uh, behind the scenes stuff as well. But was there any particular moment where either or both of you were like, "This is much bigger than I had any idea it could possibly uh, have ever have gotten." I think so many things happened on May the twenty third on the results day. It was just moment after moment after moment. I particularly remember, for some reason, coming around the corner on the way back from. Dublin Castle and just the roar when the crowd outside Panty Bar saw Panty <laughs> and you just kind of, wow, that's huge. <laughs> um, no, well, I didn't because I think I was just in it, you know, I was running around and I was a little used to having Connor just running around. So, yeah, yeah, I wasn't really thinking beyond what was actually happening. So, I mean, I guess in Dublin Castle, it's just nutty, you know, whatever, whatever. You know, the Thornish then Jerry Adams and whoever, you know, and I'm you know, dressed as a giant cartoon. Like, it's just, it's, it's, it's funny. What, what other country yeah, in the world yeah. that it happened in? So I, think, I guess I was a little aware of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just for, 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 for Panty and for Rory, like, this is a film about, about Panty Bliss, but I'm really curious Panty Bliss's opinion on film because obviously you're so involved in it. So just a, a couple of, like, quick fire ones. Uh -huh. And Connor, you're, you're free to <coughs> jump in with an opinion of your own as well. Favorite comedy? Oh my God, um, that's hard. Airplane. Good. So Good. like it hot. Nice. Favorite horror? Uh, favorite horror. Whatever happened to Baby Jane? <laughs> okay. I don't like horror movies. <laughs> Film most likely to make you cry? Oh God. <laughs> The Queen of <laughs> Ireland, <laughs> in a good way. Absolutely, like, <laughs> absolutely. And just uh, uh, if Hollywood ever ever get their hands on this, who would you like to play you? Um, that's a hard one. Um, my 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 go-to answer would have been any of the original Charlie's Angels, mm -hmm. um, but they're not all with us anymore. Still anymore. Um, so well, none I'm of, going none to none of the new to... Charlie's Angels. Huh? None of the new Charlie's Angels. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> Um, so I'm going to have to go with, with somebody elder. 
<laughs> Imelda Staunton. <laughs> sure. I would have said Jonathan Reese Myers. I'd say he would knock it out. I'd say he'd be out of the good. park. Yeah. yeah. And final one. What's what's next for you both? Like I know this is like huge and monumental. It's still very much part of your life. But what is next in the horizon for Rory and Connor? Um, we're gonna have give that grinder date another go. No, <laughs> um, we both matured. We a lot has happened. Well, um, he's um, making a romantic comedy, and he's doing his theatre show. Yeah. Oh, well, congratulations to you both. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.